Okay, so today we have a laptop from Lenovo. This is the Yoga 9i Gen 7 laptop. It comes with 12 Gen CPU, 16 GB new DDR5 RAM, a 4K OLED screen. But most importantly, it has a 2-in-1 design so you can even convert it into a tablet and it costs 1.8 lakh. That's expensive. Because generally, people buy a laptop around 60, 70,000 and we have even covered a few of them. So what extra do we get with this laptop? Well, we'll find that out together and I feel Windows laptop in this price range are very underrated because on paper, this laptop has some unique features. I'm excited to test those. First of all, you get this big box. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with Lenovo, but you know it, I know it, the opinions are mine. Okay, so inside we get the laptop box. We get this cool carrying case and see here it says made from recycled fabric. That's nice. Lenovo is thinking about the environment. Good job. I hope there is a charger inside. Yes, you get 65 watt charging adapter. It's type C. By the way, there are rumors that the government in India will make type C mandatory for all electronic devices. Let me know what do you guys think about that. Also, you get this video adapter. It is type C to HDMI and VGA in case you have an external display you may need it also surprisingly you get this lenovo pen and this has some really cool features we'll get to that soon the laptop looks very nice and this is from the yoga series san can you do any yoga poses yes i can do the one where we sleep even i can't but this laptop can see it folds all the way like this and now even your laptop can do you and even i like the color name lenovo calls this oatmeal color a very healthy color choice i must say the top and bottom seems to be made from matte material so it doesn't leave a lot of fingerprints sides are glossy and looks are very subjective but i personally like the design looks very modern also the laptop weighs in around 1.4 kg for a laptop that is really good like you can easily put this in a bag and move around does not feel heavy at all the screen opens very easily with one hand nice oh also it wakes up instantly in less than one second also see here there is this intel evo certified well what exactly is this intel evo certification simply put intel specifies some standard and if the laptop matches those standard then it is certified as intel evo now number one is the laptop should last for more than nine hours on battery and this laptop on default setting does more than that it should also fast charge so with 30 minutes of charge you get like four hours of battery life here so that is good for a laptop but of course battery life depends on how you use the device if you use it on hdr mode full brightness maximum performance the battery will drain significantly fast now the second standard is the laptop must have a fingerprint or face unlock mode and this laptop has both and they are both very quick to log in like see Quite instant, quite instant. And the typing experience is also very nice. Hear this sound. And see an interesting thing, the keyboard is backlit and it has an ambient light sensor. So now in the studio light, the keyboard is not backlit. And as soon as I turn off the light, it glows up. Backlight brightness change. So nice. So you won't have any trouble using it in low light or at night. Also, you get this pretty big trackpad. It has all the two finger, three finger, four finger gestures. Also, you get a two megapixel webcam, which can finally record in 1080p. Like, thank you so much. And you also have this privacy shutter where you can just turn off the webcam. Other third party apps or any app cannot use the camera in the background if that's what you want. Also, Lenovo has this feature called face framing and eye contact. So even if I go far and I try to look somewhere else, it would still look like I'm making contact with the camera. And this all uses AI. And it's actually fun. <laughs> and in terms of ports, you get two USB-C Thunderbolt port, one USB-A 3.1 port, one extra Type-C port, a headphone jack, and a power button. Now, I face like two issues with the build. First, the exhaust vents are placed at the bottom. It is okay as long as you're using it on a table, but in tablet mode, this entire exhaust vent gets completely blocked. And if you use it on a lap, you know, like a laptop, then you'll feel the hot air coming from the exhaust very quickly. And second, there is no volume rocker. Like if I'm using it in a tablet mode, I can't easily change the volume. I have to tap on the screen. Other than that, the laptop looks and feels quite sturdy and durable and in fact premium. And the best thing about this laptop is the display. So you get a 14 inch 4K OLED display and we'll compare it to an IPS display side by side. Now, how good is an OLED display? See here, same video from YouTube. And I don't know how much it is showing up on camera but the OLED one is looking so much better like the colors are properly saturated and the blacks look well 
more black. So watching movies on this laptop is very impressive. Like I was watching Monica, oh my darling, it looks so good. Also, it has HDR support and a peak brightness of 600 nits. More nits is equal to more brightness, better visibility under bright lights. Also, it has 100% DCI P3. In short, the display is very color accurate. So see, I color graded this video here and I play the video here and on my mobile side by side, see, both of them look very similar. So it's a good choice for graphic designers, photos or video editors. But the most important thing about the display is this hinge. So see, the speakers are placed right on the hinge. And like see here, when I'm using in laptop mode, the speakers are front facing but now when i switch into tablet mode or tent mode the speakers rotate along with the display and now these are upward facing so probably this is the world's first laptop with a rotating speaker i hope this trend catches on and the sound quality is really good like way better than any other windows laptop like hold on And for sure, this is definitely loud and clear. So you can use it in the bedroom, hall, bathroom, or wherever you use your laptop. But it is not that base heavy. Now, this model that we have here has the 12th gen Intel i7 1280p processor, latest 16 GB LPDDR5 RAM, 512 GB SSD, and it comes with integrated Intel Iris graphics. But the most important thing in laptop is the CPU letter. And generally, 12th gen Intel CPUs have three letters, U, P, H. Okay, so first you have the U series for thin ultra books, low performance like typing and watching movies occasionally and then you have the p series and this has better performance so you can do video and photo editing casual gaming and also good battery life and then you have the h series and these are higher end processors where you can do everything that you can do previously but also play high-end games pretty well and this intel i7 1280p you get 14 cores six performance cores eight efficiency cores and the maximum clock speed is 4.8 gigahertz so of course normal day-to-day -day tasks like browsing the web writing documents listening to music watching videos and all of that they work flawlessly and also since this is i7 you can even run heavier tasks like for instance see we have premiere pro and we are editing one of our own videos it's shot in 4k so see if i import all the files there is no delay or anything or if i just scrub through the edit see it runs smoothly not a lot of frame drops i can even add a layer of color grading and a little bit of text and still no lag whatsoever works like a charm and the performance is pretty fine for other applications like photoshop coral draw illustrator they work really smoothly also, we ran some CPU intensive benchmarks like Geekbench and this is the score and then we have the Cinebench score and it is quite decent. Now, of course, there is no dedicated graphics card here, so you cannot play heavy games on this, but you can play something like CSGO at 1080p lower settings. This is how it runs an average FPS of 94 at 1080p settings and medium graphics. Also, the fan kicks in at full speed when you're doing heavy tasks and you have connected it to the charger. Like just hear this. But normally when you're using the laptop, it is fine when you're surfing the web and doing casual work. It doesn't get a lot loud and you can barely hear the fans running. So yeah, the performance of this laptop is good if you're looking for productivity work. Now this laptop has some extra features which you won't get on any other laptop and some of them are really very good. Like this pen that they give you, very responsive and there's little to no latency actually. So suppose you are in class and you have to take down notes quickly, you can do that easily. See this writes almost as good as any other pen on paper. Or if you are an artist, you can use this to create beautiful works of art like this one that I made. Ta-da! Clearly you are not an artist. <laughs> Okay. Also, you get this quick shortcut buttons on the right of the keypad and they are very, very useful. Like this one is a quick toggle for background blur. So if I'm on a video call and I don't want to show the background, I can just hit this button and it activates background blur. And then you have this option to cycle between different sound profiles. And this one is to switch between light and dark mode. And here's an interesting thing. This laptop has intelligent sensing. It is so cool. Let me show you. So you get a time of flight sensor here. So suppose you leave your laptop open and move out. The laptop will actually sense that and automatically put the laptop to sleep. See, it gets dim. And now if I walk in, it should light up. And you'll be like, come on Pratik, any computer can automatically put the laptop to sleep. Well, yes. But here, when you return, the laptop detects that and automatically wakes up the display. And if you have face recognition, it locks you back right in where you left off. Also, suppose you have a video running and you get up and leave. The laptop automatically pauses the video and when you return, it resumes it back and I haven't seen any other laptop do this.
and this automatic play and pause doesn't work on web browsers like that should have been there but now the question is who is this laptop for see of course this is a premium laptop and as far as i can understand this is mostly for creators or professionals who are on the go so suppose you want a tablet pen laptop for work and entertainment carrying all three at the time is too much space so for most people getting this one laptop makes sense it's a complete package on that note this is bidik signing off see you in the next video pew 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 pew